knife to more to come and get your fix what's up fuckers your boy is back with a fresh batch of juice Night though. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Look at this beauty. Love to give her a little bit of shine. This is the Kaiser Mini Roach. Hands down, one of the best budget knives I think uh I think you can get. I think currently right now they are um priced extraordinarily low. I think under 40 bucks. Now this one though. This one hits different. This is actually the most expensive mini roach known to man. And that's because of these custom carbon fiber twill scales and backspacer from, um, from Carbidize. You know, I've had a few knives in my journey that I ended up spending more on the mod than the actual knife. Most recently was that sexy ass pair of three. But, you know, as far as budget knives goes, this one would definitely take the cake for me. I uh, think the scales and backspacer cost me like $135. Uh, when I bought this knife, they were priced about $70. Bucks. Regardless, I love it. 154cm blade steel. Nice, deep, hollow grind. Matte Degnan design. Great, great ergos. Generous finger choil, so the full purchase is there. I wish Kaiser would bring this back in a premium rendition, you know? If you're listening, Kaiser, do what needs to be done. Now, as great as this looks and as good as that sounds, that ain't what we're here to talk about, people. Not at all. Got two budget offerings and a um, somewhat of a budget, I guess, a medium budget, uh, something coming in from Kubi. And so without further ado, let's get to the dope. Okay, okay. Now, uh, one of these is actually my purchase. I don't remember which one it is. It was one of these Vosteeds. Uh, so we'll do the Bosties first, and then we'll get to the Kubi. Um, which one, which one, which one? Fuck it, we'll go with this one first. All right, let's see. Don't know which one this is. Yet. Okay, yeah. This one's actually from the Pass Around group. This is the Vosti Talarus. Talarus. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it, Talarus. Um, these come in at 72 bucks, so well within the budget realm. We've got a thumb disc for your deployment, single form deployment. It is using a crossbar lock for your locking mechanism. Uh, several variants of this knife you can choose from. This has got like the green micarta. Micarta is not bad, especially for the price point. Uh, let's check it out. All right. You know, crossbar locks have started to really fall out of favor with me. I just um, started to despise them a little bit, you know, and I, and I hate that, but it is what it is. Uh, 7.1 inches as far as overall length. Of that, we've got 3.1 in this nice Warren Cliff apparatus. Deep, or rather, no, fuck it, full flat grind, 14C28N. Actually got a little bit of poon action going on there, so you, your thumb will rest rather nicely. 14C28N, if I didn't just say that, although I felt that I just did. This has got a nice black wash finish. I tell you, Vosti does a good job with their black washes. Uh, now, I'm hoping, let's wait for it, let's find out. I'm hoping, yeah, it does appear, I think, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Sometimes Vosti gives us the adjustable uh, spring tension settings on their crossbar locks. Sometimes they don't. Um, I don't understand what, you know, what, what it is that makes them want to do it versus not. Uh, we've got 138 thousandths for your blade stock thickness. Nice ergos here, especially due to that finger choil. Deep carry pocket clip is right or left hand tip up. Vosteed also gives us some of the best pocket clips, especially for the price point. I mean, they're not going to blow you away aesthetically, but they function fantastically. Just the right amount of tension. They always inset them uh, with recessed hardware. They, they do a good job of that or recess with inset hardware. You know what the fuck I'm saying. Something like that. Flow through construction. Nice lightweight coming in at 3.42 ounces. We do have st uh, full-length stainless steel liners, but, man, they have done a ton of skeletonization uh, for your weight reduction, so that's always a good thing. I had thought that this was one of the... Um, there was a YouTuber who had done a collaboration design with Vosti. I thought this was the knife, but when I looked online, 
they actually credited um, the owner of Vostid with this design. Uh, before we get to the next one, let's just put two quick comparisons. Uh, let's go with the best budget knife I've bought in the last two years. And that, of course, is the top liner lock version of the Raccoon, also from Vostid. And then last one is going to be a classic. We're going to go with the QSP Penguin. So there you see that Talarus up against those. I mean, you know, it's been no secret that I am over budget knives. You know, never want to forget their significance in my journey. They were the gateway drug to this whole thing. But I, um, I have just fallen out of favor with them. But if, uh, if you're still in that budget realm and you enjoy this, uh, these types of knives, I guess I would say um, if you're into crossbar locks, this isn't a bad, uh, a bad situation. The blade, uh, blade geometry, you know, we got a nice straight edge. It's going to be great for utility cuts. Uh, it's going to, you know, strong locking mechanism with the crossbar lock, uh, but it's just not my jam. But that one was the Talarus. Now, this next one coming from Vostid is one that I actually purchased. I know, I know, I did buy a budget knife, but it's kind of funny how this came about. I actually got, I ordered this in May, like towards the end of May. I had seen some video somewhere where they were talking about a, a great deal. Uh, there was, if you bought this on, um, this is the Acorn, by the way. If you bought this, what the fuck? Get that shit out of here, goddamn lanyard. If you bought this on Amazon, um, you were able to use a coupon and get it for like 30 bucks. Unfortunately, the version I went with would not let me add the uh, the coupon, uh, and I'll explain a little bit more as to uh, as to why that is. Uh, I ended up paying sixty for this one through Amazon. Um, we've got slightly contoured micarta scales. Nice job on the micarta. I'm actually digging this micarta more so than the uh, than the previous knife. Two forms of deployment. Nice front flipper. Would have liked uh, perhaps a little bit more fine jimping, but and I would have preferred for it to go up and over. Uh, but we do have a nice uh, oval-shaped cutout. All right. D10 is kind of uh, medium light, but look at that blade. That's the reason why they would not give me the goddamn coupon credit uh, was because I chose this gold sand finish. Aesthetically, it looks damn good. Uh, ergos are also fantastic. No issues here. Uh, 6.9 inches as far as overall length, so right in my sweet spot. We've got 2.93 inches in this wonderful drop point blade once again 14 c 28 n for the to the rescue actually that's that that second deployment felt felt really good i think this is going to be breaking in uh rather nicely nested liner lock plenty of room for your disengagement um this gold sand finish though is really impressive i don't know what it is they didn't list it on there i don't know if it's like a uh dlc pvd or like a titanized um titanized finish they damn sure lubed it up for the trip overseas. Really digging that nice big eye pivot. That is such a nice touch. It just makes it look a little bit more premium in my in my uh, my opinion. 3.4, uh, rather 3.1 ounces for your weight. That same uh, wonderful pocket clip would have been okay without that big old lanyard hole for those weirdos. Straight drop action. I like this, man. You know, I really do. The only the last two budget knives I've bought are from Vostid, and um, I seem to uh, seem to favor them both. Uh, One hundred and eighteen thousandths was the blade stock thickness. We got a nice high to full flat grind. Add all that up, and what do we got? She's a slicey hoe. Great job on our edge termination. You can see the plunge right there. Good job by Vostid. Yeah, if you manage to score this at thirty bucks, you got a home fucking run. But even at sixty. I damn sure ain't mad at it. Let's go ahead and give two quick comparisons on this one. Let's go with two of my favorite budgets. We're going to go with the Kaiser Towser S. Really wish Kaiser would give us a premium uh, version of that knife. And of course, the iconic Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. So here we see the acorn up against those. Speaking of premium rendition, I would also love for uh, Petrified Fish to give us a more premium version of this knife. You know, even just some aluminum scales would be uh, would be an upgrade. Kind of similar to what they just did with the Victor. Um, but yeah, that one was the Vostid Acorn. Okay, this next one is coming to us from Kube. Otherwise known as Kubi. Now, Kubi has kind of... Um, 
I don't know what it like. I had such high hopes for them, but it seems like they didn't have nothing to unveil at the show at Blade Show. I don't even know they were there. I didn't seek them out. Um, but it's almost like all of their designs lately have not spoken to me at all. Uh, this is one that was sent to me from the pass around. So that's a good thing. I get to try it out without having to buy it. Um, this one is called the Interflow. This is actually a David Lowe, or rather James Lowe design. Uh, these come in at $176 on White Mountain Knives. Uh, you can use discount code Knife Dope and save yourself 10%. A uh, couple of forms of deployment. We've got a nice set of tits, uh, as well as this flipper tab. Flipper tab just kind of goes straight on out, and the jimping on it is um, uh, leave something to be desired. We'll go with flipper first. Woo! D10 is dialed to fucking. Now, I'm digging that blade shape. That that is uh that is attractive. Eight point one inches is the overall length, so definitely a full size knife. Titanium frame lock, three and a half inches is in this nice tanto, what they call a tanto point blade. Uh, we've got dual grinds, so we've got a uh, hollow here in the main portion, flat on that reinforced tip. Nice belt satin finish. There goes the Kubi branding here on the show side. Love the um, the blue accented pivot, tits, backspacer, and milled pocket clip to match. I don't think this is reversible, though. No, it is right-hand tip-up carry only. D10 is tuned to perfection, I'll tell you that. She does fly out and immediately comes right back to the goddamn house. Plenty of room for disengagement, which is, which is always a plus for me. I mean, just even the, the little touch like that can make a um, a borderline knife feel um, feel more premium, you know? Love a good uh, a good disengagement, man. You know, gotta know how to gotta know how to cut a bitch off, you know? A good uh, a good disengagement will do that for you. Four point seven ounces, you know. We do got solid titanium. I see very little. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, never mind. They did they did some milling. I could have did without the frag. I'm not a big frag guy, um, especially if they did not, which they didn't. They did not give us a flat spot underneath that pocket clip. So this hoe will shred your shit up. M390 is the blade steel. They are running theirs at 60 to 61. You know, something else I've noticed about Kubi when it comes to like their, their M390 and, and I think most of their uh, most of their steels is they always seem to have one of the one of the, 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 the smallest ranges. You know, some of these companies will give you like 60 plus or minus two. Well, essentially, that's a four point difference, you know, uh, but Kubi, I've always seen them just usually have like a one point difference. Uh, case in point, 60 to 61. Don't know if they're hitting that 100 percent, but we can um, we can probably assume that they are. I dig it. I mean, I dig it, but doesn't mean I'd be adding it to the collection. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put some comparisons up for this hoe. Let's go with a Kubi that I do love, which is this beauty right here. We're talking about the Momentum. One of my best purchases this year for the price point. And then last, but certainly not least, we've got this beauty, the Miguron Miro. I think that's Miguron's best knife this year, people. Yep, I said it. But there you see the interflow up against those. And something else I've noticed about Kubi, you know, like when it comes to their OEM side of things, case in point, this um, this premium rendition of the Momentum, this isn't a Kubi design. This is the uh, OG Sharif Manganis. Like, Kubi just doesn't have, they just don't design good-looking knives, in my opinion. Uh, they can make a good knife. They can OEM a good knife. Another case in point is this beauty. We're talking about the 395, baby. Version 2. Don't get it fucked up. So they can they can uh, damn sure OEM them. But I think uh, their design department is a little bit lacking. Uh, so let me go ahead and give them to you in my order of preferred. Um, if I could find the thing. Don't do this to me right now, people. Oh, there it is. Um, okay. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to go with my Acorn first. Then we're going to go with the Interflow. And definitely, definitely bringing up the rear. We're going to go ahead and put that one. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. Three new knives for you fuckers to drool over. But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think. Are you digging any of these knives? Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay down.
dangerous fuckers.